our theme for this year, this coming year, 2020. It is fighting, fighting the good fight. God has already told us that 2020 for us is the year of fighting the good fight. Hallelujah. So it is the year for us as prayer warriors to stand up, to kneel, to fight the good fight. For those that are in, in uh, the ministry of um, pastoral, prophetic, different ministries. This is a year of fighting. And for us, it is fighting the good fight. We find Paul saying, I have fought the good fight. I have finished my race. And I have kept the faith. It's only after he fought the good fight that he said he finished the race. And that was the evidence that he kept the faith. He had a lot of proof as far as fighting is concerned. Hallelujah. His race was finished after fighting, fighting the good fight. This year, 2020, is a year of fighting. It is a year of moving forward. It is a year of going up the ladder. Hallelujah. Each step that we take, there is no going back. Hallelujah. The ladder only points upwards. Hallelujah. The staircase only goes upwards. Hallelujah. There is no coming down. Hallelujah. It is the year of fighting. Hallelujah. Some steps on the staircase, we will find them easy to step on. The other ones, we will need a shove and a push. We will fight. Hallelujah. It is a year of fighting. It is not a year of dreaming. Hallelujah. And just planning. Hallelujah. It is a year of fighting. Hallelujah. And when we talk of fighting, hallelujah, we are talking of a clear conscience. We are talking of the ability to know our promises, to know our IDs, to know our DNAs, which are unique in themselves for each and every one of us. Hallelujah. That is where the fight is. Hallelujah. So that we are in constant remembrance of who we are. In this year, 2020, we have to be in constant remembrance, clear remembrance, clear consciousness of who we are. Hallelujah. As individuals, as ministries. Hallelujah. As people of God, hallelujah, it is a year of fighting. It is a year of fighting. It is a year of fighting the good fight. Paul fought the good fight. After he had fought the good fight, he finished the race. He said, I have fought and I now am done. I'm finished. Hallelujah. So for all of us, hallelujah, the race involves fighting. Hallelujah. And then we can say we have finished as long as we remain in with the faith. Hallelujah. As long as we keep the faith. Hallelujah. In 1 Timothy 1 5, we find Paul saying, Paul is saying, the goal of my preaching the gospel 
the goal of my talking the gospel all the time is love. Not just any type of love, but love that comes from a clear conscience. Love that comes from a pure heart. Love that comes from a sincere faith. Hallelujah. But what does the devil do? The devil came here to steal and, and to destroy. The devil steals first and to destroy. Hallelujah. Coming to Zimbabwe, we see that the former president of Zimbabwe's family, uh, Comrade Robert Gabriel Mugabe's uh, family, were finding it difficult to secure the promises uh, that lie within their DNA, the promises that lie within their family, because they know deep down in themselves, they know that this thing of stealing of promises, stealing of the clarity of consciousness of people is real. Hallelujah. They went to all lengths. Hallelujah. In front of different cameras, they, they kept on to their word that they were scared that people were out to steal their destiny as a family. Hallelujah. To steal their destiny as, as a, a, a in their bloodline, hallelujah, in their DNA, hallelujah, because they know that this thing of stealing of gifts and destiny and consciousness of people is real, hallelujah. As I said in my last clip, I said that God has said in Zimbabwe there is a pool where uh, the consciousness of people, the ability to see clearly the promises of individuals is being stolen and put into this pool or into this river or into this water a uh, place hallelujah and then rituals there they they are done on the conscience of people hallelujah with the intention of selling them to those that look for luck. There are people that go to witch doctors to look for luck. And when these people go to witch doctors, they are sold the conscience of these people. They are sold uh, the steering uh, that drive that drives people towards their different unique uh, destinies individual destinies hallelujah those abilities and capabilities talents and gifts and skills are stolen from people and sold on after the sacrifices in these waters they are sold on to those that look for luck they look for lack in different talents which they which would not be originally their own these promises of other people these futures of other people are then sold as luck charms to these people who buy them hallelujah so that is why the mugabe family went to that length they did not even care about the cameras hallelujah they knew of the promises within their bloodline of the seed that they carry in their bloodline of the consciousness that they carry in their bloodline and they wanted to to secure it um, at all costs hallelujah there was a lot of drama hallelujah they Nevertheless, they didn't mind. They they stood 
for for their gift hallelujah it says that uh, in the bible it says that do not neglect the gifts that are in you hallelujah these gifts were given to you in prophecy do not neglect them this is what the mugabe family was doing they were protecting uh, their gift hallelujah same with us we have children who are hopeless we have neighbors who are hopeless maybe uh, our children's children our parents who are hopeless they are captured somehow maybe captured by alcohol by smoking um maybe uh captured by illnesses and diseases by um where they have lost their conscience all of their conscience they they have become like crazy people and some people are bitter and stressed and uh, they are angry hallelujah because when you have lost your promises when you have lost um uh, your your future you, your hope where your hope lies hallelujah there is bound to be distress and bitterness that is why a lot of people are stressed hallelujah it is because their their future their 